also discussed and exchanged opinions regarding Russian proposals given to the U.S. and NATO about giving long-term security guarantees to Russia. And I would like to say that we analyze the response given in writing by the U.S. on 26th of January, but now it's already clear, and I said that to Mr. Prime Minister, that Russian concerns were basically ignored. We didn't see an adequate, res adequate response to our key concerns, non-expansion of NATO, the refusal to deploy offensive weapon next to the Russian borders, and bringing back the military infrastructure of the alliance to the status quo of 1997, when the Russian-NATO treaty was signed. And by ignoring our concerns, the United States and NATO in general are referring to the rights of the states to freely choose ways to ensure one's security or proposals. As you know, we were given promises not to move NATO infrastructure to the east, not a single inch eastwards. You all know that. You all are well aware. And now we see where missiles are. Poland, Romania, Baltic countries. So they said one thing, they did another thing. As our people say, so we were basically swindled. We were lied to. Okay, okay, that's fine. And then the United States withdrew from the anti-missile defense treaty. We tried to convince them not to do this. It was one of the fundamental agreements about the global security. Nevertheless, the United States did what they did. They withdrew from it. And now the missile launch system are in Romania and in Poland. They're going to be there soon, if not already there yet. And there are MK-41 launchers. And you can deploy tomahawks there. So it's not anti-missiles. These are strike systems that are going to cover our territory thousand kilometers deep. Is this not a threat to us? Now they say that the next step is Ukraine. So they must approve it to join NATO. So listen to me. Listen to me carefully. In Ukrainian doctrines, it says that they want to take back Crimea. And uh, if they have to, they will use military force to that. So it, these are not just words. That's part of their doctrine. Now, now let's assume that Ukraine is the NATO state. So they are pumped with weapons. They have modern offensive weapons like they do it in Poland, in Europe. And now they start an operation in Crimea. I'm not even talking about Don, the Donbass here. That's a sovereign Russian territory. So it's a non-starter for us. So let's imagine that Ukraine is a NATO state and they start the separation. So now do we have to start the war against the NATO alliance? Did anyone think about that? I don't think so.